everyone, and welcome to a very special edition of Ask the Crown. I'm Elizabeth Seyfried, Miss United States 2014, and Miss World Americas 2015. I'm so excited to be introducing the 2015 class of Miss World America, who will be competing this summer in Washington, D.C. in July. Hi, my name is Maud Corman, and I'm the current Miss Massachusetts World America. Tell us about where you're from and your family and your community. I'm from Hingham, Massachusetts, which is a small coastal town south of Boston. And I grew up kind of playing outside with the neighborhood kids. We played a lot of Kick the Can and King of the Hill. So it's a community where you can always find families outside in the summertime, playing with each other, having barbecues. And it's really a close-knit community. I have two older sisters, a younger brother, and we're all very close in age. So that was always so fun to grow up with friends, really. and so. That's really the community I'm from. Tell us something about yourself that no one else knows. When I was 12 years old, I was at a movie premiere for The Greatest Game Ever Played with Shia LaBeouf, and it was directed by Bill Paxton, and I actually approached Bill Paxton, and I said, Hi, my name's Maud. You should know me. I'm going to be famous someday. And I actually handed him a letter, and a few weeks later, I was shocked, but I received a letter back from him, so that was really cool. Knowing what you know now, if you could write a letter to yourself when you were young, what would you say? I would say that the three things in life that you want to look for are something to look forward to, something to look back on, and someone to look up to. And I think it's really important to keep in mind that there's always another day, there's always a future. I, growing up, I had a lot of hardships, and if I could have told myself to hold on and there's another tomorrow, then I think that would have made life a lot easier. Tell us about your Beauty with a Purpose project and how you selected it. Absolutely. So my Beauty with a Purpose project is spreading awareness for sexual assault. When I was 13 years old, I was assaulted and I kept it a secret for three and a half years. And that secrecy really tore me up inside and it kind of, I kept it a secret because I felt ashamed and worthless. And so my Beauty with a Purpose project is all about giving empowerment to survivors and taking the word out of victim. We are not victims, we're survivors, and we're empowered by that. So my goal as Miss Massachusetts and as Miss World America would be to promote awareness for sexual assault and to share my story, really, because it's empowered so many people so far. And I've been blessed to give them this opportunity. I've given the uh, keynote address at the Take Back the Night Rally in Lowell, Massachusetts, not too long ago. And so far, that I'm making steps towards achieving my goals of beauty with a purpose and making it really known. Knowing that Miss World is a community ambassador, tell us why you should be Miss World America. I should be Miss World America because I believe that I have the power to make a change in my community. I'm involved in my community so far already as Miss Massachusetts, and I'd be able to take my platform of spreading sexual assault awareness to an international level. I would be able to promote this platform that has no continental barriers. Sexual assault is something that affects people from every nation. And as Miss World America, I'd be able to represent a nation of go-getters on an international stage, and that would be an honor. Tell us a fun fact. I'm actually a nationally ranked snowboarder for the United States of America Snowboarding Association. And in 2013, I was the only woman rider from the USA named on the official starters list for the Austrian Free Ski Open. Thank you so much to everyone who let us interview them on Ask the Crown. And thank you to everyone for watching. I'm so excited to meet all the women in Washington, D.C. in July who will be competing for Miss World America.